With ACT in the cloud, you get on-demand access to the number one best-selling contact and customer manager in a secure cloud environment. In this video, I want to show you how you can import your current database to your ACT cloud environment. From the desktop version of ACT, you should first create a manual backup of your current ACT database. This is going to ensure that you are uploading the latest data from your ACT system. So to create a backup of your ACT database, log in as an administrator to your database. And then once you've logged in, we'll go to the File menu and choose Backup Database. Now I'm going to click the Browse button so that I can choose a location where I want this backup to occur. I've got a folder on my desktop called Database Backups, and so that's where I'm going to save it. And I'm just going to rename this database CloudWalker SSO, and I'll click Save. Now there are two more decisions that you need to make. First, decide whether you want to include attachments in this backup, which will be uploaded to the cloud. If you rely on attachments in your day-to-day -day operations, then it's a good idea to include them here. Next, decide whether you want to password protect this database backup file. If you decide to password protect it, you must provide this password during the upload process. If you lose or forget this password, it cannot be recovered by ACT technical support or ACT database services because this password is strictly tied to the zip file and not the ACT database. I'm not going to password protect mine, so I'm just going to click OK, and this will begin backing up my ACT database into a zip file. When the backup is complete, click OK in the confirmation window. Now let's go back to the ACT cloud environment inside the web browser. Again, make sure that you're logged in with your administrator account, and then hover over your username in the upper right corner, or click it, and then choose User Management. This will open the Manage Users screen in a new browser tab, and now we're going to choose the final link at the bottom here. It's called Launch Database Upload Tool. This will open an additional tab in your browser, and it takes you to the Data Migration screen. To upload your ACT database, select Upload an ACT Database at the top, Next, we're going to choose Files, and I need to locate the database that I just backed up, CloudWalker SSO, and click Open. Now provide the username and password for the administrator of this database. If you chose to apply password protection on your backup zip file, you'll enter it in this field. I didn't do that, so I'm going to leave the field blank. And then beneath that, you'll see two email fields here you can enter an email address so that we can notify you when the upload and import processes are complete. And once you finish with all these fields, click the blue upload button. This will begin your upload. Once the upload is complete, you'll see a confirmation screen like this, and you will receive email notification in about one business day that your data has been migrated to your ACT cloud environment. But what if you wanted to migrate your data from a spreadsheet and not another ACT database? Well, you can use the same upload form, but instead of uploading an ACT database, choose Upload a Spreadsheet. This will automatically change the fields that you see below. Next, click the Choose File button to locate your Excel spreadsheet. And this can either be an XLS file or a comma-separated value CSV file. Once you've chosen that file, again, you can provide an email address if you'd like to be notified when the upload is complete. And finally, there's a Special Instructions field down below. You should only use this field if you have any custom fields that you'd like to use or if you want to merge this spreadsheet into an existing ACT database. Please only use this field if there are special circumstances regarding your data, because any text you put in this field will cause the system to move your upload from an automated queue into a manual import. So even if you type something like, please expedite this in the special instructions field, you're actually going to be delaying your import by a day or more. Would you like some help formatting your Excel spreadsheet before uploading it? Maybe you're not sure which database fields this import process is expecting to see. In the middle of the screen, there's a link to download a sample Excel template. If you click that, it'll download that to your browser, and you can open this spreadsheet to see this template as a guide. I recommend keeping the header row and then just replacing all the fields beneath that with the data from your own spreadsheet. Now you can save this spreadsheet somewhere and use it when you're uploading it through the data migration tool. Once you're finished again, click the upload button at the bottom and you should receive email confirmation of this within a day. And then you'll be ready to get started in ACT in the cloud.